Hello fam, so I'm here, I just parked, I'm about to get into church and I wanted to share this thought and this uh, message that has been on my heart and it's basically about the, the Christian life and this concept of heaven on earth. So as many people see Christianity as a religion, but the truth is following Christ, Jesus Christ, what he preached, what he said, who he said he was is more about the relationship than it is a religion and that relationship because of Christ's sacrifice it makes us children of the God of Abraham of Isaac and of Jacob there are many gods in this world but in Christianity we believe in that God the God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob Yahweh and um in Matthew 18, 18, it's a verse that I shared yesterday and I thought a lot about it. It says, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth will be loose in heaven. And the Amplified Version says, whatever you loose on earth, that is already loose in heaven. And whatever you bind on earth, that is already bound in heaven. So that means what? It actually shows concretely what heaven on earth means. And it means that when you look at heaven, what is there? There's justice. There's peace. There's beauty. There's clear-mindedness. There's purpose. There's glory. There's light. There's, there's love. There's joy. So it means that Things like sadness, disease, um, confusion, doubt, fear. Those are things that are not permitted in heaven. And so when we, in a prayer of agreement, that's what Matthew 18 to 20, Matthew 18, 18 to 20 speaks about the prayer of agreement. When two come in the name of Jesus, they're able to tie, to, to loose, to release, to permit and not permit some things on earth. As it is in heaven so um, it, and it's so powerful because you can say today you're sad and you say I bind sight sadness sadness is not permitted in my life fear is not permitted in my life um, disease is not permitted in my life and in a sense you kind of like download right bits of heaven you're downloading it it's like um, and that's what our the prayer our father says our father our Father, you know, Yahweh, who art in heaven, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come. is for his kingdom to come on earth as it is in heaven. That's essentially what we are practicing every day now with our declarations, with our prayers, with our thoughts, right? Now, when we speak about heaven on earth, I mean, you want everyone to, to have that kind of vision. Why? Because in every single sector, when I'm driving, I see the road. The road is so messed up. I mean, it's broken all over the place. That is not from God. In heaven, heaven principles want the world to be paved, to be correct, to be functioning, to be excellent, you know? So that mindset, that mindset on heaven as on earth, on earth like in heaven, is what should be driving Christians, and I hope even many more people, because that will shape a health sector. You know, a health sector, Jesus said he came to give us life so that we may have life in abundance, whereas the devil comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. So it makes it clear. When you have that mindset, you can clearly see what is from God? What is not from God? You know, doubt is not from God. You know, fear is not from God. You know, dysfunctionality is not from God. You know, corruption is not from God. You know, things not working the way they should be working is not from God. Confusion, disorder, death, you know. So when you go into a hospital in our countries like here, and you see, you see the health sector, how dysfunctional it is. There's, there's instead of, so you, what we have to do is to breathe life into it, breathe life into our economy, breathe life into all these different sectors, into maternity, into motherhood, into job sectors, into the youth, breathe life, life, light. Cause now there's a, it's, it's, it's a battle. 
and it's it's for now it's conquered by darkness it's conquered by so many different things by death by darkness by bleakness by confusion by doubt by an upside down world so um our christians our mandate is really great and that's the purpose is that wherever we are put in the world whatever job whatever project whatever whatever we are doing we have to bring a bit of heaven on earth so with that thought i wanted to to share it with you guys and to wish you a happy sunday it's may 26th 2019 and it's also mother's day in cameroon so happy mother's day to all the mothers we have to stand up because the womb is being attacked too much in this world the womb is being attacked too much so as mothers as future mothers we have to pray um for health in the womb for babies to live um and for babies to not be um killed whether it's by man or by other spirits or by other forces prematurely in 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 the womb i don't know why particularly i have a thought a special thought for women who have had stillbirths and miscarriages i mean my heart aches for you guys because you know god's god god wants life god is a god of life and is a good god and maybe i'll do another series where i'll pray i have in my heart to pray and to do more for women who are trying to conceive who are having troubles with their womb whose children are attacked because i have that in, in mind but anyways i'm getting this is getting longer than it's supposed to be that's that's not the topic that'll be a topic for another day but um remember that the mindset heaven on earth heaven and earth, whatever, whatever you're doing, whether you're a doctor, a nurse, a military guy, in government, a civil servant, an entrepreneur, project holder, teacher, student, child, mother, parent, sister, whatever you are, in wherever you are, try to bring a bit of heaven on earth every day. God bless you. I love you all. Bye.